when we do what's um, in the IPC document, which is type seven, which is we're gonna plate the hole, we're going to epoxy fill it, and then we're gonna plate over it. Um, there's a requirement that when we plate copper in the barrel that's going to be epoxy filled, that the copper wraps onto the surface of the outer layer. Um, IPC 6012 class three and um, two now has the same thickness. You have to put copper onto the surface a minimum of two tenths of a mil on top of the starting copper. So if your copper was half ounce, seven tenths, you now have to have a minimum of an additional two tenths on the outer layer. So it has a plate on the outer layer to the top. It's called wrap plating. Um, it's, the target is two tenths of a mil. My hair is two mils thick. We're trying to target <laughs> something that's one tenth of my hair thickness. Um, and it's a very particular process. But we don't target the minimum. We actually go slightly beyond the minimum because later on we're gonna have to planarize the surface. So when we do type seven, we do wrap plating, putting enough copper in the hole and wrapping the surface, and then we stop. So if we want two tenths, we target four to six tenths. But we still don't have enough copper in the hole. We probably only have about three tenths to about five tenths of copper in the hole. So then we stop, we cover the entire surface of the panel except for the vias that are going to be filled, and we have an opening slightly bigger than the drill, and we plate copper in the hole to the correct amount of copper thickness that we want in the barrel. Uh, per your procurement document. Then when it's done, we pull off the resist film off, and it only plated in the hole a little button, a little dot around the hole. The rest of the surface is the original copper plus wrap plating on both sides. Then after we've plated enough copper in the hole, we're gonna epoxy fill in the hole to fill it, we'll cure it, then we'll sand it. The little buttons that we created, we can't have it. We wanna live in a two-dimensional world when we're imaging. So we sand off the little buttons we created on both sides, and then we go back and verify that we still have the two tenths minimum wrap required from in the hole onto the starting copper. And if it's gone beyond it, it goes into scrap. So this is uh, this whole process of adding plating and epoxy filling vias is typically about eight basic manufacturing steps, and it takes a minimum of a, a one day process, typically it's gonna be about two day process in production, it's more like three days, but you're incurring probably 20 to 25% more costs to plate epoxyville and plate over um, your board. So if you need it, just understand it's gonna take a longer um, build cycle and it will definitely add cost to the board and the design.